Hey guys, this is Christine from Lockpick Extreme, and this video is a quick overview on how locks work and the idea behind picking them. Let's first take a look at how a lock works. On the front of a lock, we have a shell, or sometimes called the housing, and a plug. On this lock here, you can see the shell or housing and the plug. This lock has five chambers. Different locks have different number amount of chambers depending on the style and design. Typically, you'll see four to six chambers on most common pin tumbler locks. Inside each chamber is what we call the pin stack. This contains a spring, a driver pin, and a key pin. When the lock is at its resting or locked state, the driver pin is crossing the shear line or the seam that's created between the shell and the plug. The series of driver pins in the line of chambers is what holds the lock in its locked position. When you open a lock with the key, the key is doing two things. First, it's using the specific pattern cut into the key to push all of the key and driver pins to match the shear line. The second thing it does is act as a tool for us to rotate the plug or open the lock. When you open a door, you stick the key in and then you have to turn it. So why can we pick locks? When we pick locks, we're mimicking what a key does. And like we said, the key does two things. It lifts the key pin to the right height and also gives us something to apply rotation to get that plug moving to the open position. That being said, when we pick, we use two different tools for each of those jobs. The first tool that we use is a turning tool. This can also be referred to as a tension wrench, a tension tool, or other similar names. These tools can come in a variety of shapes and styles. No matter what tool you have or what you prefer, all of these tools are being used to apply a constant rotational force. So what exactly allows us to pick the lock open? When something is manufactured in a factory, there are tolerances that are allowed. In manufacturing, due to costs and available technologies, measurements can only be made within a certain tolerance. All of those imperfections mean that the lock will allow us to lift the driver and key pins to that shear line, that seam between the housing or shell and the plug, one at a time. Once we lift them up and out of the way, the plug will be allowed to turn and the lock will open. So now that we understand some of this information, we should talk about the two golden rules of lock picking. The lock sport community is all about ethical and legal lock picking. The community sees opening locks as mechanical puzzles to figure out, like a mental challenge. Rule number one is to never pick a lock that you don't own or don't have permission to pick. This in general is just a good old fashioned common sense stay out of jail rule. Rule number two is don't pick locks that you rely on or that are in use. So let's get into some picking. I'm going to put the back side of the lock facing into the crux of my hand and pinch the lock with my thumb and my forefinger. Then when I insert the turning tool, this will allow my middle finger to rest out on that tool. The amount of pressure that I need to apply is really light almost just the weight of my finger itself. If you don't apply enough pressure or let go of the turning tool altogether, any pins that you have may set will fall right back down. If you apply too much pressure, it's gonna bind up the whole mechanism and create so much friction that the pins won't be able to move. Now that I have the lock held and I'm applying turning pressure all with my left hand, it'll allow my right hand to pick the lock and manipulate the pins inside. Something like a hook is going to push up on the pins one at a time. This method is commonly known as single pin picking. Something like this wave rake 
is going to manipulate multiple pins all at the same time. With either method that I choose, my tool is going to be in the keyway, pushing up on the pins so that they match up with the shear line, allowing the lock to open. Here I'm going in with a basic hook tool and single pin picking a five pin lock. This lock is a key and knob style cylinder and is a part of our four piece practice lock set. If you're interested in picking up a set of practice locks, check out our online store at lockpickextreme.com shop. It's also important to note here that when I'm using the hook tool, I've made sure that the point of the hook is pointing up towards the pins I'm working on. Similarly, here when I'm raking this lock open, I have the peaks of the waves pointing up towards the pins. Let's take a look at Lock X's current pick sets. The first pick set is a four piece pick set that includes two turning tools, a bottom of the keyway and a top of the keyway turning tool, a hook for single pin picking, and a rake. These are kind of the bare bone basic tools to get started. This gives you a taste of each of the styles of picking single pin and raking at a low cost. The second pick set that we have is our 12 piece set. Everything that you get in the four piece kit comes in the 12 piece set. So you can kind of look at the 12 piece set as an expansion of the four piece. My favorite part of the 12 piece set is that it comes with seven unique turners. You'll see a lot of lock picking kits on the market that say it comes with six turners, but what you end up getting is six copies of one type of turner. All of the turners in our 12 piece kit are different, meaning that you're going to be able to find the right turner for the lock you're working on. In the 12 piece kit, you get the hook and the wave rake that are included in the four piece kit but you also get a swoop or curve hook, an offset or deforest diamond, and also a half diamond tool. As you work on different types of locks, and you also grow your own personal preference for tools, you'll quickly want to branch out from the basic hook and wave rake. This was a very quick overview on how locks work and the idea behind picking a lock. If you're interested in more information on single pin picking or raking, check our YouTube channel and blog for more updates, tips, and tutorials. As always, happy picking. Bye.